Hello, everybody. Mike from Southern California again. It's Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020, and you're on the mic. On this edition, we're going to, as I told you last week, we started a new mini feature on the channel here um, on, on this particular segment. Um, a new mini feature being... Um, Unlock the unlocked update, which of course I go through some of the unlocked streams and like if I find anything note to bring to your attention, you know. Um, of course, still covering Vic a lot of that, but you know, I'll also try to cover some other voice actors as well. Um, a couple of news bits that came at, that I saw today as I was watching it. Um, so Vic, Vic has said that he's finished recording the audio book he was working on and that now he's just in the process of editing it editing it so it should be coming out pretty soon um so you guys might want to be on the lookout for that i don't i don't have any more information about the audio book i think many of you who are big fans probably have, are aware that he's been working on the audio book for a while so um he's done recording it he's just now in the process of editing it so and also, one of the other things I discovered on when I, as I was reviewing the Unlocked series is that um, John Swayze just announced that he just finished recording for Sentai, I guess, um, an anime called... Um, I know the first part of the title is Pet Dogs, um, from what I understand. Pet Dogs of Zoestra or something like that. From what he mentioned, it should be premiering on High Dive sometime in November of this year. That's something to be looking forward to. Um, you know, for those of you who are John Swayze fans, for those of you who don't know, John Swayze, of course, did the voice of Hohenheim Elric in Full Metal, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. He had replaced, um, it replaced um, Scott McNeil in that role for the Brotherhood dub. Um, also, among some of the other um, things he's also known for include um, Death in Soul Eater. Um, so, yeah. So, anyways. Um, yeah, so they finished recording on that. Sentai finished recording on that now. That should be premiering on High Dive in November. So, you guys might want to go check that out if you're fans of his. And also, from what I understand, at least towards the end of the last, I don't know if he still is, but Rico Fajardo was out here in L.A. Um, for a few days last, towards the end of last week, according to his um, stream from last week. Um, had it, you know, basically he had some work with his agent and stuff like that. Came out, visited with Cliff Chapin. Um, so... That's about as much news from, from Unlocked as I could gather. I'm going to be trying to get more and more as time goes on, figuring out how, how exactly I'm going to go about organizing it. So so this show will probably become a regular feature because I know you guys want to you know, know what's going on. I mean, it's not all, you know, Vic, Vic's a good guy and all that, but I'm sure there are other good voice actors that you guys you know, would like to meet and get to know. So uh, hopefully... I can bring all that to you um, as time goes on. Um, so with that, um, let's move on to let's move on to this day in each history. You know, so today being April twenty second in in the world of Nietzsche culture, what has all happened on this day in Nietzsche history? And let me. Think. Okay, so, on this date, April 22nd, in the year 2020 years ago, at ECW Cyber Slam, the um, ECW World Heavyweight title changed twice. Changed twice on the card. Um, first off, Tommy Dreamer had beat, been tasked for the title, and then later in the show, Justin Incredible beat Tommy Dreamer. Um, 
for the ECW World. So at ECW CyberSlam 20 years ago, the ECW World Heavyweight title changed twice on the show. Tommy Dreamer first beating Taz for the title, and then Just Incredible beating Tommy Dreamer for the for the title. So oh, moving on then. Moving ahead uh, about eight years, so on this date, 2008, which was 12 years ago, um, the the Shannon Mangan se manga series, Akatsuki Iro no Shapuku, or Shinpuku Maho or Majo, um, finished its run in the Shannon Magazine Comic High on this date, 2008. Um, Akatsuki uh, Iro no Senpuku Majo um, finished its manga run in Comic High on this date in 2008. And also, on this date in 2009, as part of the Batman Battle for the Cow um, storyline, Batman Battle for the Cal Arkham Asylum number one was released on this date in 2009, 11 years ago. On this date in 2009, as part of the Batman Battle for the Cal storyline, um, Batman Battle for the Cal Arkham Asylum number one was released on this date in 2009. So, um, so with that, um, So with that, um, you guys can check the links below if you want to contact me directly. Um, my Discord link is down there. Um, you can always direct message me there. Check out the Discord. Join the Discord if you'd like. Um, I'm still promoting a bunch of different dub companies because always remember Funimation is not the only game out there. There's other there's other dub companies to check out. Other, uh, you know, check out the LA works you know, that are done by Bang Zoom and Viz Media out here in out here in California. Check out Sentai's works in um, Houston. You know, High Dive, from what I understand, is a pretty good streaming service. You guys want to check that out? Check out some of Sentai's works. Um, let's see. New York with Media Blasters and Headline Studios, and of course the Canadian stuff up in Canada with Ocean Studios, and and also you know if you guys want you know, um, I highly recommend you check out Lamp Black Entertainment. It's a company that was started up by Lucas Gilbertson and Caroline Day, a couple of voice actors from Calgary, out of Blue Water Studios. They do a lot of um, like a lot of character creation for video games and stuff. I've seen some of their videos. You guys might want to check that out. Um, you know, if you guys want to, you know, check that out. Some pretty good stuff. Um, and also, guys, if you like this content, and I hope you do like this content. I would, I would appreciate it if you guys could um, like it. Um, if you can, um, if you like. Share, uh, if you like this content, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, I always look forward to the conversation with you guys. Um, I always look forward to the conversation with you guys. You know, as long as it's civil and respectful. You know, some good back and forth going between us. You know, always talking about all these different niche con. And I hope you guys are, are watching the whole videos, you know, not, not just the beginning of it. Because I have it split up into a few parts. There's, like, the main news story. And then there's some interesting tidbits I hope you guys would catch um, in the middle of the videos, too. In the, this day in each history, maybe some stuff in it you didn't know about that you might want to check out. You know, whether you're a comic fan or a wrestling fan, you know, anime, cartoons, comics. What have you? Um, so you know, I should check it out. Um, so with that, don't forget also that my next VA premiere um, is this Friday, Voices Big and Small. Um, this week I'll be doing Bryce Pappenbrook. 
so you guys might want to come by and check out some of the, his works. Um, um, and with that, um, with that, I hope to see you guys soon, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.